one another thing like that I've always been curious about is like you you you're a huge fan of history. And like, do you have any books, right, that you like what what do you what are you kind of reading these days? Oh man, I don't as read as much as like I got since I got the podcraft, it's like <laughs> uh, historians that come on. I mean, it's historians that come on and esoteric guys, and they kind of like um like Ngozi, we have one who comes on. He's like a biologist. I don't know if you've seen him. And um, he like, they just speak it, speak into existence. But there's a couple of books out there, you know, um, that uh, I dabbed in, you know, as far as um, Nature Knows No Color Line by, uh, what was that, by Jay Rogers, I believe. Yeah. A couple of ones. Nature knows no color line. I've never heard that book. I have yeah. to, I have to check that yeah. one out. It's history uh, of the Byzantine, uh, you know, rulers of the during the uh, dark ages. Oh, really? Of well, Europe, yeah. Like uh, what? Like. What particular? What what thing is particularly interesting about that book? That they had a lot of, um, they had a lot of uh, black rulers were in the dark ages that we didn't know about. You know, when you when you look into uh um Henry the Eighth and um certain Constantines, not all of them. It was a couple of them. And um and I was like, wow, that I didn't know that. And you know, I think Othello, uh, everybody knows about that, you know, mm-hmm. played by um so, you know, the Moors, history of the Moors and things of that. But it was different because I never knew, you know, some of these things. Well, there's a reason why the judge where the Cloak, the wig, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the wig, yeah, things like that. Yeah, so that it's funny you say that, man, because I'm I'm just reading this book, right? It's about Egypt, mm-hmm. and there are these mm-hmm. two um, archaeologists that have made the argument, right, that Egypt mm-hmm. was actually this the the culture of it comes from sub-Saharan and Western Africa. If you look at the Sphinx. You know, that, 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 that is definitely of an African face. So it's like a lot of, a lot of the history that we see today has been completely like kind of changed and whitewashed, if, if you will, man. I've, I've, I've always found that fascinating. And you, you, you definitely allude to a lot of that in your lyrics, you know? Yeah. A lot of people had it, but they were infatuated with, uh, uh, Kemet. That's what they they call it in uh, Greece, mm-hmm. you know. Well, they were they were very uh, infatuated by it. So you know, Alexander the Alexander the Greek. That's what I call. It. <laughs> so he was a you know great conqueror, and he went out there and he was infatuated by it. But you know, it, it goes deeper than what he knew. You know, for what whatever they told him, or whatever he learned at that moment goes deep. It's rich history that goes back thousands of years even before that. So when you go into it, it's like wow, this just just the surface, and I think the world was was factionate, was um, you know going crazy over it because of him. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Even though there were great empires, great you had the Mali, you know what I mean. You had a great empires, a whole bunch, but he had a a, a little bit of it, and it's it goes even deeper as you, as you go further. It it does go. Do you are you aware of the Songhai Empire by chance? The Songhai Empire, yeah, yeah, definitely, with, with Masa, 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 is it Masa Musa? Masa Musa, Masa yeah, Musa. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the 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 richest yeah. man on earth. I didn't know. Yes. I did not know that. Like, and correct me if I'm wrong. Right, like a lot of the slave trade started because that empire actually came crumbling down. Yeah, well, you had, yeah, yeah, a lot of, I mean, that, that was, they made money back then, and it, it was a lot of trading, but it was done a little bit different, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, when you go into that, you know, some of the empires was doing that back in, back in the days, you know, but everybody kept their nationality, you know, there was nobody that's, that was uh, taking nationalities and forgetting things like that, it was, a, it was about money. Yeah, yeah, man. Gold. All about gold, mustard right? guns, wine, and yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely crazy, dude. Do you and do you, you find out when you go deep into it? You find out there were people, yes, and people were doing trades and you know building up. You know they they were they were they were about money. 
fashion. Things of that nature. Yeah. It, I, I, you know, I always found it, it's, it's fucking weird that when, you know, we admire a lot of these conquerors and whatnot, but like, if you think about it, they're all pretty like shitty people. Like they were, they were all about like running up on different territories and taking that money, taking the loot and then bringing it back. And it's, it's kind of, do you ever think it's kind of weird that we celebrate that shit? Uh, some of them, some of them you got to watch out because the history that Europeans told, you know, could, could villainize of, uh, um, some of the rulers. They could make them look that way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And actually they, they create villains inside, inside of some of their stories. So you have to be very careful when you're reading about, um, rulers and how other people seen them and wrote about them in, instead of their own people writing about them. Because they can um, always make them look worse to make themselves look better. And they have to f- figure out a way to sneak their self into history. So you have to be very careful about uh, about certain rulers. Yeah. You have to uh, go into the history, how they said, said it, and how they said, saw themselves. Yeah, no, I hear you. I hear you. Anybody that we should be yeah. watching out for in particular? Oh, man, it's a, it's a lot. <laughs> I mean, I can, yeah, it's, there's a lot, man. There's a, um, you can start with, you know, the stories of, of the Ramses, mm-hmm. you know, the, the, in the, in the biblical narrative of it, you know, they don't know who, who was the, who was the Pharaoh back then. They don't even know, you know, they just said Ramses. It was a couple of Ramses. Yeah. Yeah. Back then. And they kind of like, you know, made them, be- made them into a, a bad person. Well, one of the Pharaohs were, were actually good. Because Abraham, I think, went into uh, the Pharaoh and he kind of, I think Abraham lied to him and he, he was kind of a righteous man. The Pharaoh was like, why did you lie to me? All you had to do is tell me the truth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would have spared you. <laughs> <laughs> Story is interesting. It, it is. It, it is yeah. interesting, man. It, it's, um, 